Hello, Todd Clemens, Okeechobee Livestock Market, and here's your weekly market report. Cowboys, cotton candy, and dinosaurs. An odd combination. What do they have in common? Well, the last group, we know what happened to them. They're extinct. The Ice Age, some event took the dinosaurs out. What will be the events that take out the other two? What does cotton candy have to do with anything? You get cotton county at your fairs, your county fairs, and they're all around Florida. They're all through the state of Florida. And kids used to love, when I was a kid, we and my kids used to love going to the county fairs, but I tell you, I've heard on the news lately of the fairs having problems with gangs, violence on the midway where our kids are. And so, you know, how long, what is the lifespan of these county fairs? How long will they be around before they're taken over? The one thing about the county fairs that I know is good are all the exhibits of the animals and all the, the kids in the 4-H and FFA programs that are promoting agriculture. You can go see cows and steers and lamb, goats, chickens, rabbits, and these fairs that are held in the cities where the people can come see these animals because they never have a chance to see them anywhere else. They're very important. So we got to save the cowboy. We got to save the cotton candy because the dinosaurs are gone. We got to keep these fairs and these kids in 4-H and FFA programs. We need to teach ag in school. We should teach home economics in school, and we should teach this next generation how to balance a checkbook. Cowboys are a lot more important than what you think they are. Cows save the land in Florida, and we have to educate every Floridian that cares about the state that preservation and conservation of our land and our natural resources our clean water supply is so very important to all of us. And it starts with cows and cowboys. Let's all do our part to preserve and conserve what we know and love here in the state of Florida. On to the market report. It was a, another week of higher prices. This thing is really, really going, going strong. Calves were quoted four to eight dollars higher. A few weeks ago, we broke the two dollar barrier on a 500 pound calf and we have not looked back. Those calves are bringing 210, 215 this week. We're not having many of those number one classes. We're getting a lot of odds and ends and different um, kind of just leftover cattle from various places, but the ones that are the best are bringing really, really good money. 600 pound calves are up there around a, a buck 80, maybe 190 even on the six weights. And I, I would just imagine before long, we're gonna see those 600 pound steers bringing $2. Cows and bulls are still selling real good. Um, kind of a shorter supply this week and uh, guys buying them, they're hauling them out here just as quick as they get them bought. Uh, we still had cows bringing around a dollar, a little over a dollar and bulls bringing 115 to 120 on the better end and uh, just things are looking really good and the only thing we need to really be concerned about is fundamentally this market is just going to keep going we don't need any kind of a world uh, black swan event like we've seen in the past few years with the uh, COVID and the, the Tyson fire and these things that really really do affect uh, public uh, perception and ability to uh, to buy meat as long as that meat's selling and it is box beef prices are going higher and uh, uh, supply is lower and these packers are still in the black and they're still making money at these higher levels so uh, everything's good to report I don't have any negative to report other than the runs are slowing down and uh, they're not uh, they're getting over a lot quicker. So don't be too late getting in here Give us a call if you're on the road or you're going to be late to make sure that we're still running um, So for the high prices this week, we had some high prices on the calf side Frank Dana 
from LaBelle had a little 220 pound steer calf that brought 280. That calf was bought by DNS. And on the slaughter cow side, Jay Walpole, my good friend and uh, business neighbor right across the railroad tracks here from the market, Jay Walpole topped the cow market at 1335 pounds and the cow brought a dollar and nine cent a pound. She was bought by Brown Packing. If you like these market reports and you wanna keep on hearing uh, the reports and you appreciate the information or you have something you want us to talk about, give us a call. Uh, thumbs up on the, uh, on the market report and help us keep these things going. Thank you for your business. See you next week.